this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Do The Hula by Benefit. It is this gorgeous liquid bronzer that I tested out in the store and I wanted to show you guys what it looked like on the skin and also how to apply it. I have not tried this at all myself yet, so I figured why not share my review while we're doing this and my first impression. So I'm going to be doing a talk through tutorial in this for you and following up I also will show you how to use the powdered hula over it. So I'm really super excited to see this and I'm so ready for summer so I figured why not start and get that golden goddess glow. So if you want to see how to bronze your face and do the hula, do do the hula. I don't know how to do the hula so don't watch this video and think you're going to know how to do the hula. But um, you're going to watch to show how to do the makeup hula on your face. So if you want to see how I got this golden goddess look, please stay tuned and keep watching. So I applied one pump of do the hula on here. Mind you, I haven't even tried this at all yet so I figured why not share with you guys on video so I can get my review right away to see if it is easy to blend and work with because that is the number one thing that a lot of people going towards a liquid bronzer seems a little difficult to use because it might be a little runny or the consistency might be a little orange so let's check together and check out and see how the do the hula is going to work so taking my 227 brush I absolutely love these angled it cosmetics live beautifully blush it, uh, brushes they're actually really good that you can apply with a liquid or powder and I think they blend really well I'm gonna start at the outer parts of the face too just by like dabbing a tiny bit. And what I think is great about this um, liquid bronzer is going towards a liquid, it's going to look more hydrated on the skin if you tend to be a little dry. So already I'm really liking this. Wow, this looks really natural on if you guys can like really see how that applied. There's no like skipping or any type of streaking at all. This really pats it nicely. So basically, when you go to use any of your bronzers, you want to make sure that you're going to go around the hairline, all the high points where the sun naturally hits. So like I've said in all my other contour videos, you basically want to do it like a number three and a backwards E, bridges of the nose, and a little bit on the chin. Okay, so I have to say with the Do The Hula, this is a nice golden undertone. There's no red, so meaning that it's not going to pull RNG on your skin tone at all. So I'm putting a lot more on so you guys can see. <clears throat> I'm like losing my voice, so bear with me. A uh, tiny, tiny bit just around the hairline like so. And I want to also see if this um, is very buildable. I'm curious because... I want to go a little darker. It seems to go on very, very light and natural at first, which is not a bad thing because, like I said, we don't want to look like we jumped into a pile of mud on our face. Nobody wants that. Okay, I really, really love the way this application goes on. It's very easy to work with. So I think now I'm going to go in, not into a, like a hardcore contour, but I think I'm just going to start to do it where I normally contour and then bring the powdered um, hula bronzer into the factor and just kind of set it on top. this a thumbs up absolutely I will be repurchasing this again this stuff is really really nice and I have to say I found that it was buildable on the sides you can see that when I went to go apply it on the cheeks I added a little more and it got a little deeper so it is buildable I really like this a lot I'm gonna call this the base for your contouring um, you could also mix this with any like foundation like times that you're going through those phases in the summertime and you keep getting deeper and deeper and you don't want to buy like a million foundation colors because trust me I've done that before and I'm like okay just want to stick with one for a while but I'm getting darker in the summer so you can cocktail this with any foundation you choose to and you'll actually get it where it's going to get a little bit deeper and bronzy you know a little bit at a time and it's buildable if you need to add more okay so next I'm gonna go in with the hula bronzer and this is the powdered bronzer and I figured this would be really good to now stop my contouring I love it it comes with this really cute cute brush here as you can see brand new haven't even used it yet 
So I'm going to go in with that same brush and I do the same thing and go around my hairline. And I feel like this will actually help set the do the hula into place. I literally feel like I just came back from the beach. Um, gorgeous! I didn't even tan or burn my skin. I like to just stipple my way up so that this way I don't have any lines at all. Look how beautiful this is. I am obsessed. Hula benefit obsessed. This is gorgeous. I mean, everybody just needs this, and it's like summertime on your face all the time. As a little bonus, I haven't showed this to you guys in any of my videos yet. Something I've been working on for a few months is gorgeous Becca Cream Blush. These go on like super airbrush, and what I love about it the most is when you're applying it on, it actually sets like a powder, so it's so easy to work with. It's not clumpy at all, and it's marbleized, so it has a little bit of like a highlighter to it, which I thought was pretty nifty myself and I'm gonna put it right over what I did for my um, my bronzer I have coral on my eyes so I, I'm, I don't know I'm just feeling a lot of coral today my shirt my eyes now I want it on my cheeks just look so pretty and I'm feeling so summery look how gorgeous I mean this is just so natural very very natural you guys enjoy this tutorial and this review and if you want to see a more beautiful golden goddess looks with the Doomy Hula please leave a comment down below and until next time bye dolls